Based on debris analysis, DOD officials say they are confident last week's missile intercept and destruction of an out-of-control satellite has reduced, if not eliminated, the risks to people on Earth. The vice chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff says it was a successful mission and the debris analysis provided high confidence that the fuel tank was destroyed and the hydro hydrazine fuel dissipated. USS Lake Erie engaged the satellite with only one shot and a 10 second window. The ship fired a standard missile 3 to shoot down the decaying spy satellite. MC3 Paul Honick shows us how the crew of Lake Erie was able to accomplish this first of its kind mission. USS Lake Erie returns to Pearl Harbor following a successful mission to shoot down a malfunctioning satellite in space. A satellite that if crashed into a populated area could have released up to 1,000 pounds of toxic hydrazine fuel into the air. Uh, everybody was calm in CIC, everybody knew exactly what they were supposed to do, and it came off just as we had scripted it. Um, it, was, it was well done by uh, everybody involved. February 20th, the Secretary of Defense gives the mission a green light and the countdown begins. The satellite is more than 130 nautical miles above the Earth and traveling 17,000 miles per hour. At 1026 Eastern Standard Time, Lake Erie launches a modified tactical standard missile 3. 165 seconds later, the missile hits its target dead on. It uh, made contact with the target, so uh, lots of cheers, lots of high fives. Uh, it was a good, good feeling. I was quite loud and I was jumping up and down. I saw all the information on my A-scope and I, I knew instantly that it was a success. A crowd of family and friends anxiously await the ship and her crew to congratulate them on a job well done. I think the, the biggest thing we learned was that uh, when put to the task, uh, the, uh, the engineers, the, uh, the scientists, the, uh, and the sailors uh, involved in the government industry team were able to take a system that wasn't designed for this purpose and over the course of just, uh, just weeks, turn around and, uh, and conduct a successful intercept to, uh, to help save lives on Earth. Petty Officer Paul Honick, Pearl Harbor.